This is Rare Country, a picturesque valley that's seen little change over 150 years of farming. Kingston is probably the last example of a valley floor native grasslands. Um, they would have been widespread at some stage, but now uh, this is all that remains. The sweeping grassy paddocks are tucked away in Tasmania's remote northeast on the wool property Kingston. Its owner, Simon Cameron, is as passionate about this landscape as he is about his merinos. We farm it because it's, it's really suitable uh, for, for the animals and, and the wool type that we want to produce. But we're also mindful of how we manage this land. He stocks Kingston's paddocks lightly with a flock of prized Saxon merinos, all the time making sure he's keeping their impact on the land low. It's this dedication to the land and to his sheep that's attracted the interest of Australian men's suit designer Matt Jensen and his company MJ Bale. Amazing. Looks good, look at you. Looks fantastic. It's an unlikely collaboration between the farmer and fashion designer, which sees Simon Cameron wearing a high-end woolen suit instead of his usual jeans and work shirt. There's a huge smile on his face. After all, the fabric in this suit is made with wool from his own property. How many times have you worn this one? Is it special? Or? Oh, this, this, is, this is really special, Matt, and uh, it's going to have to last a, a long, long time. Over two years, and with a little persistence, Matt Jensen convinced an Italian woolen mill to make some fabric with wool just from the Kingston property. Well, Simon's one of the best wool growers in the world. He's based there in Tasmania, 16 micron, beautiful, uh, so it's super 150s cloth, and it al has allowed us to create you know, some of the best suiting in the world but directly from an Australian farm and all sourced from that farm. The logistics of producing these single origin suits are complex. After shearing, the bales head off to the Italian woolen mill Vitali Berberis in northern Italy, where it's woven into high-end suiting fabric. From there, the material ends up in Asia. We've kept it pretty classic. You know, we've got three colours. We've got a full canvas um, suit, which we hand make in Japan, a single-breasted suit. It's, it's one of those things that you keep and you would probably keep for a long time because it's a special product. The shearing team is happy. They love the twice yearly trips to this small shearing shed. The same team has been returning to Kingston for years. They take extra care sorting through the clip. And Matt Jensen is happy. So happy, he's keen to keep this collaboration going. Beautiful cloth, it drapes. It, it, it's got body in, in the cloth. It drapes incredibly well and the fineness is, is just really, uh, you've, got, you've got to try it on to, to really uh, understand. As part of the deal, the MJ Bale Company is paying an additional contribution to Simon Cameron to go towards preserving the native grasses. Well, we think it's a, a good thing to be doing, to, putting, to be putting uh, money back into literally the grassroots of the country. After years of doing it hard in a tough and slow wool selling environment, Simon Cameron feels he's finally starting to get a reward for his farming practices. It's opened up a, a whole new opportunity and, and if people who are buying the product, buying the, the, the MJ Bale suits, think a little bit about what they're doing, they get an understanding that um, part of what they pay for the suit actually comes back to the farm. 
uh, and helps maintain the farm. I think that that's important with people now. More and more, the customer is demanding traceability. They want to know the origin of the wool. Is the farmer treating his sheep well? Is he farming sustainably? They want to know the story behind the product before they buy. Another Tasmanian wool operation has jumped on the concept of single origin, the historic Tasmanian wool property Bowfront. Nine shearers are working their way through 18,000 merino sheep. This wool is destined for the Italian Tolegno mill in northern Italy. We've agreed to supply uh, 40 tonne per year from the farm, uh, 40 tonne of wool top that is, so around about 450 to 500 bales. Wool broker Alastair Calvert has been working on the deal for a couple of years. That's a bulkier fleece. Yeah, that's better. It's a coup for the Von Bibra family, who've been wool farmers in Tasmania's northern Midlands for generations. Not only are they selling their fine merino wool, they're selling the family's farming story. Our family have been farming here for um, now it's 100 years. It's a story right through Australia in many ways in terms of um, uh, farmers managing a landscape and uh, producing a product. So I'm not um, alone in doing that, but uh, yeah, we're, we're thrilled to be able to present that story. The Italian mill's confidence in Bowfront is paying off. It's working on contracts with clothing companies in America, Europe and Australia. Ahead of the game is Australian fashion house Country Road. Well, Country Road obviously is a client of uh, the Mill Telenio uh, in Italy that, that bought into the concept. Uh, so they, they saw an opportunity to be able to tell the story and, and do it locally. So it's quite a high-profile high brand in Australia, obviously. Mm. Well, it is very nice. It's um, soft, isn't it? It is. Mm. Country Road has bought the Bowfront woolen fabric direct from the Italian mill. The Australian fashion house has developed a limited edition polo shirt using the single origin wool. One of the things that I've really enjoyed and noticed about that, about the um, garments, is that you know when you handle an actual fleece, it has a lovely silky um, rolling sort of finish and handle about it. Well, that's come all the way through to the garment and has a really lovely, a lovely handle and a lovely silky finish on it. Country roads sell the shirt with a Bowfront story. It's the first time the family has seen their wool in a tangible end product. They love seeing people in clothes made from Bowfront wool. It's very fulfilling, yeah, amazing um, opportunity that we were given. Really nice to get that feedback. As a farmer, you produce a, a raw product, uh, bales of wool, and we can often lose um, the fact of where that wool ends up. It might not be a return to the glory days of wool, but for these farmers, it's a sign wool is returning to favour. Deals like these that link the wool grower to the retail customer are coming at just the right time, giving some in the industry a much needed morale boost. It's been a, um, a tough 15, 20 years for wool growers. It's a lovely natural um, fibre, it's uh, wonderful to wear. It, it serves sheep really well and um, at the same time serves humans really well.